Well, today on the bench we have two 40 volt max cobalt uh, batteries and chargers. Both of them happen to be a KB240 06, 2 amp hour 40 volt lithium ion battery pack. Gentleman I used to work with is now retired. Contacted me and said, Hey man, you think you can, you can work on these for the church? And uh, they use them for the blowers to blow off the uh, front steps and porch and things of that nature. But um, I told him, Sure, I'd be glad to look at them. And both of these. Uh, battery packs actually do the same thing they uh, they have no indicator light for the, for the pack which don't look good for the pack but the second thing is even even with the with the charger actually plugged in we don't get any if you can see that you don't get any light and uh even when you plug the ac power up no light you plug the battery in it's just like you don't even have it plugged in or the fuse is blown, but what we'll do is we'll look into the battery charger first. Even though I'm not 100% sure there's anything wrong with the battery charger, I will open one up. It's only four, four screws, so a lot easier to get into. Um, I do know the battery packs show less than four volts. One shows almost zero volts, which is a really bad sign. The other one shows, I think, 4.6 volts. So. It may just be the pack itself, so we might have to get into this. First of all, we'll, we'll take a quick look at the chargers and uh, look at the board and make sure it's not a blown fuse or something simple. Just a typical switch mode power supply. Basically, you got your incoming AC, fuse, NTC, MOV, actual X2 capacitors coming across, going to our bridge. So we're gonna have roughly 160, 165 volts DC here on this bus. And of course it's gonna be um, pulse width modulated through to control the charge voltage and current. See our separation here on our, our, um, our high voltage and our low voltage. I even put a line here on it on the board. And our isolation slot there where our optocoupler is for feedback. Couldn't find any issue with the charge. All the caps look good. The voltage was there. Everything was good. So it's going to put it back together and focus more on the actual battery pack. Okay, guys, back now with both chargers actually charging the battery packs. Um, I'm not happy about what it's doing but it is actually charging as i got to looking into the packs i know that we got some sales damaged here quick boosting these is not the answer it's not the fix so many people on the internet are once again saying you know jump these packs and they'll charge and very true i jumped these with just 12 volts off my um power supply and i took them up to 20 volts just to see if the battery would uh would take off and i'll, I'll probably omit that from the video just to save time on the video I did a limit on the current of one amp and I went up to 20 volts and just let it slowly come up. But what happened is both packs almost like charging a capacitor. So something, uh, something's bad wrong with some of the cells. It went up to 20 volts really quick, but it's also dropping down quick. So that'll tell you right there that there's some internal resistance issues with, with some cells. So this one here has already given us a fault charging, which uh, very true. I know it's got a bad pack. This one's still happy enough. I guess the, the current and voltage is rising at a decent level. But uh, but next we will have to open up these batteries and see if they're actually um, worth saving. Do a quick check on this one on the uh, voltage check. Because this one actually gave a charge and error. We got our plus and our minus here. Yeah, it's done drop down to 10 volts and dropping. So the, uh, the charger picked up that this one is actually worse than this pack apparently. I had charged it up to right at 20 volts and it's just steadily dropping off. So the good thing is this charger does not like this pack. This is the pack that was at zero volts. So obviously an issue and the pack does pick that up. So I'm actually very um, impressed by that. So this will be the first batter that we look into. The charger was a T15 uh, security bit. The pack looks like it is a T10 security bit. Ooh, that's ugly. 
Daddy is ugly. Sorry, I think I had that off camera, but just have to get down till you find that center spot and pop it. Yeah, unfortunately, these batteries have overheated big time. Does not smell too good. So this battery here, even though I could have um, took the voltage on up with my power supply and it looks like it would have bumped on up to closer to 40 volts. It was going over 20. But uh, the charger may have finally tried to charge it up. If it could have made it, it would have been over volting some of these other cells, obviously. Oh, look at here. We got a bubbler. You can see that on video or not. This one here is discharging right now. Just internal resistance. But obviously they have done it a lot. Whether that's from overcharged or, um, you know, over discharged. It's hard to say. So this is just another great example. Uh, as I stated in a previous video that you just don't want to try to boost a pack that you know nothing about. You know, if one's went to zero volts and it's supposed to be a 40 volt pack, you know, we got some serious issues here. It could just be one cell that's opened up since they're all in series, of course, as we mentioned before. But um, in, in this case, if we, uh, if we bring the meter over and go what looks like, I'm not as familiar with this one yet, of course, as the uh, Ego 56 volt, but these look like the individual uh, cell feedback to the BMS and these things are you know 1.2 volts or so or less each that one ain't even a 0.1 volt um, not even one volt so these things even after I boosted up you know and charged a pack enough for it to recognize the charger and by the way I never would have done that except for I was troubleshooting the charger um, hopefully if nothing else this video will help uh, understand a little bit troubleshooting because and I don't have any cobalt stuff as I mentioned but I, I've never seen a charger that don't the light won't even come on when you when you plug it into AC and blink or anything so it looked like both chargers were faulty I knew both batteries were bad with the voltage readings but um I did boost them up enough to see the charger work and I was I was extremely surprised to see the light start start blinking when it recognized enough voltage, um, somewhere around 12 volts worked. I don't know if it recognized less than that. Uh, honestly, to me, the pack shouldn't be recognized at, at 12 volts being a 40 volt, but but, um, but that's my opinion. But we will uh, look at the other pack. This one really, to me, is not even salvageable. It's, uh, it just needs every single cell replaced. So they all are well below the threshold. If you're interested, uh, a little more information on the pack here. The, this is the power side, of course, of the, the battery with a 40 amp protection fuse here, which is nice. Uh, looks like a TGGT type, uh, at least a high high temperature insulation wire here going through the pack, which is which is good. Uh, high current at even high temperature, so that's really good. That might be TFE or um, Teflon wire, but it's it's not the glass wire like that one or cloth wire, glass cloth wire. I tell you, it, it looks. It looks similar to the Ego as far as the silicone coating waterproofing on the back for the chips. Looks like the connectors are actually glued. Yeah, it was glued in place. We got a little thermistor right here on the pack. And these, if you can see that, these have been silicone, not only to keep them up against the, the pack like this, but also keeps it from, uh, from uh, unplugging. So let me get this off and I'll be right back. There we go, our board's off. Not too much to see though, unfortunately. That's kind of similar. Look at that connection, Woo, leaked out. Probably one of the, one of the worst battery packs I've seen. Even though the, the power size is pretty impressive. So we know this one needs at least all cells replaced. We're back, we'll look at the other one. This one did finally show 
for the charge, we'll check the battery. Showing for the charge, it must be somewhere around 40 volts or over. And we got 41.47. What I'm going to do is just let this sit here for a few hours and come back and see if it's dropping off before we take it apart. This is, this is the same pack charged last night. This is the next morning. And uh, surprisingly, even the next morning, the battery is uh, held up very well. And as I go across what looks like the individual cells, going back, and you can confirm that by checking it. 4-1, 4-1. I mean, they're all 4.1. They're probably about as balanced as you can get 10 cells in series, which is very, very surprising. I expect at least one of these cells, if not more than one, to be uh, dropping off after just, you know, after a period of time just sitting here. <clears throat> but I mean, they are very, very balanced. So what I, I wish I would have took it apart be before I even tried to charge it up because it looks like the batteries, all 10 cells in series, it looks like they do come all the way back to the actual post, just, just through that fuse. So this was the one that was showing like four, a little over four, four and a half volt. So there's no reason why all those cells would have dropped that low without some serious issues. So, so now the way the pack is acting normal, all I can really do now is just go put it on a load on the bench somewhere and um, just let it drain down and see how it does. Maybe we got some cells going bad once they pull down to a certain... Uh, a certain level but I hadn't really ever seen that with a pack so I'm gonna put this under a load now if it's been it's been well over 12 hours and it's still sitting there holding good so I'm gonna put it under a load and we'll be back so back now with the pack after discharging and it has cooled off for several hours I did put an X on the actual uh, cell that was the hottest it, it wasn't the hottest by a long ways but it it did discharge to get the hottest discharging and the way that these cells are, we are at uh, 27.8 volts. So divided by 10, we average in 2.78 volts per cell. So we go across, that's, you know, that's a little bit lower than the average, 2.64. So see, we'll see if we got one lower than that. 2.8, so that's higher than average. Higher than average, that's the highest one so far, 3.0. And well, from here to here to there, 2.7. Two, that is the lowest, 2.603. It's about average. About average. About average. So. So that one that was the lowest was here. No, this one here. Okay, the black. So that, that does go to this cell. So the cell that discharged and got the hottest, it does verify it is the lowest, but it's not. It's not by a wide margin. So this pack actually um, was able to give it a little boost and it actually did revive, which is uh, extremely unusual. Um, I would have loved to have taken this apart when it was showing four volts here because it comes straight off the cell. So one of these cells either had to show open or a loose connection that I can't find. Something happened to make that go to four volts. So I still don't think the pack is 100%, but all the tests do show that, um, you know, we'll put it back together and charge it. It shows like it's okay. But just remember... Now this is what the other pack looked like doing the same thing both in the charger swap them doing the same thing um, you can swap them in the charges and swap them back neither one showed like the charger was even trying give them both a little boost and the charger did try this one did fault out which is good but um as we got to see with just a little bit of boost on the charger it started spewing um really really close to a fire right here i mean that's uh Sales get to this point, that is not healthy. 
just a quick note about these uh, battery packs. They didn't uh, they didn't waste any money on design as far as a uh, different <laughs> different design for for the 4.0 or double capacity pack. They still got the same uh, the same tabs and everything. They just didn't come down to spot wheel them in. So uh, just a note: if you did buy a bunch of these, it was bad, you know, and and uh, or or somehow another have 2.0 or 2000 milliamp spare cells, you actually could put them in here fairly easy and solder them in and double the capacity of your pack. I'm not 100% sure about the 40 amp fuse, but I, I wouldn't even think the, um, even though it's got more capacity, I wouldn't think you want more than 40 amps out of the, the 4.0 packet, you know, either. But um, anyway, it's just a thought. I hadn't had one to take apart yet, but. So this one actually um, does pass a lot of the checks. Not really well balanced down low, but I, I was actually very pleased with, um, with how well it held up, especially at the um, the temperature I let the pack get up to. So I'm gonna put this one back together and charge it back up. So that's got this pack back together that checked um, okay and charged okay. Um, and it's back charging okay again. Um, remember we had the one pack that was really bad shape. I just got it back together, marked it, so the owner know not to use that one. Every single cell was below one volt. Most of them were not even, um, I don't even think we had a 0.5 volt in most of them. Some of them was even down to 0.1. So definitely be careful of what you actually try to boost the charge. However, as I saw some other videos on YouTube where they have successfully um, revived these, there's something about these packs that actually will apparently that you boost them and charge them um, this one after charging up doesn't really show that um it's faulty we just had that one sale that was a little weaker but nothing uh really nothing worth replacing it um so i don't have a good answer why this one actually went below four volts um i don't think it was in stores that long i didn't own it so i don't know for sure and i even need to make sure that something ain't wrong with the charger where just sitting on a charger, they don't pull down. Um, and maybe with a charger unplugged, make sure it doesn't pull it down. But other than that, if I come across something there, I'll let you know in the video. Just to look into a different battery pack uh, that I'm familiar with, because I don't, like I said, I don't have any cobalt 40 volt max. But if you got anything out of this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.